in last tutorials uh, two tutorials we have seen all about the basic uh, text editing com tags and what is the structure of HTML today we are going to do something a top 10 text formatting tags in HTML so uh, let's get started uh, we have generated this code in the last tutorial so now you uh, have no idea about you have a uh, whole idea about this tags I'm just going to remove this uh, code from here just save the file and today we are going to learn the top 10 text formatting tags so the first tag is a bold tag as the name suggests to you that the bold tag is useful to uh, bold the text that is uh, so that this is a text uh, is which is uh, important which is useful for a uh, heading purpose so when we include a bold that is a uh, bold tag between a uh, text that is use a uh, b opening b tag and closing of b so opening and closing in any of the 10 formatting tags which I am going to tell you is necessary so it is opening tag and this is a closing tag so this is a bold text so let's get uh, into the picture and just try this that is a B tag opening tag that this is a bold tag close the bold and just go to the file and save the file go to browser and press F5 so here is a bold tag which is showing you a darker shape uh, than the normal tag if we are include that this is a normal text and just save the file so you can get difference so this is a normal text and this is a bolded text now you know that whenever we want a break that is line break we include a br tag so this is a useful command uh, the next command is underline which is useful uh, sorry italic tag I'm going to uh, start with italic that italic tag which is useful uh, to give a uh, italic effect uh, which is useful to specifically gives the text uh, uh, something a uh, banded effect in the uh, web pages so whenever you include in italic tag just see whether you include with the i tag that uh, this is italic tag and close it with the I so this is the italic tag I'm just going to include BR tag after all so it can go to the next line so after going to the web page press F5 so this is italic tag displaying something different than the normal and the bold tag so the next tag is a uh, underlying tag which is specified with the u tag I'm just going to include br tag so this is underline line tag so close it with the u commands and include br tag again so whenever you include underline that is u tag and opening and closing of u tag and anything within this uh, code will be get underlined so go to browser press f5 it will show the effect like this so this is underline tag the next tag we are going to see is a strong tag and emphasize tag the strong tag is the same as the bold tag mm, nothing different than the bold tag the bold tag is a uh, important use for important heading so strong tag is also useful for a 
useful as a bold tag and emphasize tag is similar as a italic tag so just see the difference there is no difference between a strong and bold and between the em tag and italic tag so this is a strong tag clothes strong this include br here and here em tag that emphasize tag which is same as italic tag close em sorry em okay so save the file go to the browser and play save file so there is no difference between these and this an italic tag and emphasize tag so just we want to learn that is both are same but somehow there is a difference of one that is uh, some browser support the bold tag or some browser support the strong tag as well so there is a this difference between both tag the next tag is a code tag this is just uh, as a name specified that is uh, when we are we uh, want to include a code in the web page we can include it in the code tag so if we are include any code within the page let's say I'm including include stdro dot h so this is a coding useful within uh, C, C++ so this is a coding so we want to specify that this is a coding so we can use the code tag so just save the file go to the browser press F5 so include this is including and whenever we include something parenthesis uh, it is something appearing that this is also a tag within the HTML so just see whether you are including uh, something different than the uh, coding but this is just say that this is a coding go to the browser and press F5 whenever you see that the, this is a coding appear as a different uh, text the original text so this is a working of code tag the next tag is subscript tag which is useful to uh, show the text uh, below the original text that is cool for uh, h2o and now just you want to copy this and paste it here so you can get the difference so whenever you include h2o that is oxygen it the two appears at the below of h and zero that sorry o so so this is represent using a sub that is subscript so go to the browser press f5 to appears in the below than the normal text so same we can do for representing 2 raised to 4 so two, 4 is appear at the top of the normal text so 2 raised to 4 the 4 we want to show at the top so this is a 2 raised to 4 save the file this is a subscript 2 raised to 4 so this is the difference between subscript and superscript the next track is the insert and delete tag that is not much useful of insert and delete tag Whenever you, uh, you, whenever you are using del that is delete tag it will delete that is strike through the content within the text uh, that uh, content within the tag so it will strike through the abc and whenever you are including uh, ins that is insert tag it will show that uh, abc is strikes through and the new word is a suhas 
so this is a representation uh, how it's so look that that is my name is abc that is abc strike through because we have include a delete command and suas is display displaying as a new part okay so there is no much useful of this tax but still we can uh, be aware of this tag the next tag is a variable tag to representing a variable uh, so we can include this tag okay so int a uh, if you want to include something variable that's showing that this is a variable and include this so it's include br here as well as we are here so if we press F5 so it is showing as a variable these are some 10 top 10 text formatting tags which are useful within the HTML so thank you for watching guys in next tutorial we are going to work with the colors and images so do not forget to watch my next tutorial thank you for watching subscribe my channel